Hey guys, um, just wanted to make a really quick video. Um, I was so blessed this morning. I was um, feeling kind of down the last couple days, you know, especially yesterday it was cloudy and everything. But um, today's the sun's out and everything and I've just been so excited waiting for the Lord's return someday, someday, you know. But um, I went and just uh, sat and just quietly prayed and, and before I even really even got any words out the Lord uh, gave me this song that was playing um, I play on my direct TV I have the songs that play and um, it was by Stephen Curtis Chapman and it was the glorious unfolding and I was listening to the words and I was like oh my gosh thank you father <laughs> all of this that we've been going through the ups the downs the sideways and just uh, just the emotional exhaustion and the physical exhaustion of just uh, waiting and um, trying to do the Lord's will and, and pray for people and uh, try to get them awake because uh, a lot of people just want to live their life and not they're really just not concerned about um, anything else other I don't know it's just it's rough <laughs> but the words of that song just um, lifted my spirit. All of this is a glorious unfolding that the Lord has set out for us. He, it's, it's been a, such a journey and uh, the journey's not over yet, but um, it's getting there. <laughs> so um, just enjoy, soak up every moment that you have here on earth with your family. Um, just try to be that person, that person for someone that needs needs the Lord. Um, don't be afraid to step out and um, just reach out to them because if you see they're hurting, sometimes they just need somebody to come alongside of them and say, hey, I see that you're a little down. Um, was there anything I can pray for you about? And you would be amazed that they would always, almost always, I've never had maybe one person <laughs> He said, please don't pray for me. And I was like, okay, but I pray for him anyway. So, But um, they always are like, gosh, I really appreciate that. And even if they're not a believer, they appreciate so much that you care about them that you would offer to pray for them. And, you know, so um, just buying a single mom groceries, um, anything, anything to make this world better. This world is tough to be in. It's... um everything that's going on in other countries is just absolutely awful to watch um, we have we're not suffering at all compared to them so that just burdens my heart so much all these innocent children and I just don't even want to think about it because it it bothers me so much but um, I'm chasing rabbits again I'm sorry but uh, basically um, after watching Todd's video too on it is finished um, what was a watchman's journey I'll post a link to that and also to the song um, that uh, the Lord gave me this morning and basically just enjoy the moment don't live for gloom and doom I've been a little guilty of that some days just oh when's it gonna happen Lord you know but uh, that he doesn't want us to do that he wants us to be excited to wake up every morning to just be excited and take on the day and be there for that person um, just enjoy I'm looking at the clouds and, and the sunshine this morning and the cloud, you know, the trees are budding and it's just an amazing feeling. Spring is just a beautiful time of year. So enjoy your life. Enjoy your life. But remember that God could come at any moment. Jesus could come at any moment. We are not guaranteed the next hour. So we should live that way. Um, we should live with the intentions of, yes, God gives us this life and he wants us to enjoy it to the fullest, but watch his unfolding, what, what's going on in the Middle East and, and all these prophecies coming to light and all the watchmen um, having similar dreams, visions, um, words of encouragement. It's all God's plan. It's all unfolding in front of us. And it's beautiful, it's beautiful to watch. Um, we can't focus on the negative things we, we can't. It's just too depressing to focus on those negative things. Just pray. Pray for the innocent people that are suffering. Um, try to be, you know, don't drive by the homeless person sitting on the curb 
like I almost did last week. Um, I drove past him and I thought, oh, he's probably just an alcoholic, probably just gonna take the money and you buy drugs with it. And the Lord convicted me and says, you know nothing about his story. So I went back into the parking lot and I'm not saying this to glorify myself at all. I, I'm not doing that. Um, but the Lord knows my heart, but uh, the Lord convicted me of that. And, and I have done that before. And, and sometimes I've helped and sometimes I haven't. So um, I pulled around and I keep these little salvation packs that, in a Ziploc bag. It's got a Bible and a Bible track and um, a letter, you know, uh, like just on encouragement type thing. Um, and uh, like a protein bar and a Gatorade and some matches, just, just odds and ends, things the Lord told me to put in there, um, things that they might need, you know. Um, and I put a 20 in there. And I, I hesitated for a minute and I thought, you know what, Lord, you know what he's gonna do with that money, but I have to be obedient and put that in there. And he, when I went, um, and parked next to him, the people behind me got irritated because it's out by Walmart and it's a real busy area. And I just put my flashers on and just waved them around. They gave me this, you know, snarly look as they drove around me. And um, uh, I went and approached this man and I kind of kneeled down and the look in his eyes, it was such a sweet look. He was like, oh, bless you, ma'am. Thank you so much. I'm really not one of these people that ask for money. And I said, the Lord knows your heart he knows and I said there there's some money in here and he goes oh thank you I I'm so sorry I I, I hate to ask and I said you know what don't apologize um, God sent me here to bless you and I want to bless you and I know it's not much but I did put a Bible in here and tracks and things like that and he said oh God bless you ma'am you have no idea thank you so much and he shook my hand he grabbed for my hand and of course he's all you know he's dirty and kind of stinky you know and um, and I didn't even care about that. I was just, at that moment, I felt like how um, how the disciples must have felt when they went out and did things in the name of Jesus. I'm not likening myself to a disciple, really, but we, we really are. Um, we're all disciples, but um, I he reached out and I grabbed his hand and, and he had such a, he just cupped my hand in his and just, just says, thank you, God bless you so much. And my heart was just like, you know, it was a little cold out and and I said, do you have somewhere to stay tonight? And he says, well, not yet, but I'm, I, I think I'll be okay. And I told him, you know, that there was um, a place uh, not too far from here that I could take him to, knowing in the back of my mind, my husband's correction officer, he'd be like, no, no, no. But um, I was just kind of feeling the waters. And um, he said, uh, well, I've already been there and they won't take me because I've got a felon on my record. And um, my heart was just so burdened. I really wanted to take him, <laughs> you know? And I'm just like, I know nothing about this guy. But he generally, you know how you can read people. He generally was thankful and I don't know his story. I, I wish I would have had time, but there honestly there were people beeping behind me and I was just like, just go around please, you know? Um, and then one lady drove by and gave me a thumbs up, was like, yeah, you know, so I don't care what they thought. And, you know, um, like I said, I'm not doing this to edify myself at all. Those of you that know me know I do a lot of things and I don't tell anybody about them, but I just wanted to share this particular thing because he, his eyes, I can't describe his eyes. Um, I almost felt like I was looking at an angel and I, and I know that sounds funny but in the in the Bible it does say that you entertain angels and you don't realize it and I just got even just shaking his hand he had such a a genuine you could just feel feel something was going on there uh, whether he was an angel or not I don't know but I know it pleased the Lord that we could connect like that you know you know a woman just you know my age just going up and talking to this I mean he had tattoos on his you know everywhere you know but I didn't see that I saw his heart and I saw his need and I really did want to take him somewhere, but I said, you know what? And he told me his name, and I'm, I'm not gonna say his name, but um, just just pray for him. And but he said he was a believer, and I said the Lord's gonna take care of you, and I'm gonna pray specifically that He gives you a warm place to stay tonight, and that He will take care of you. And he said, God bless you, man. And he had tears in his eyes, and I did too. And I had this big lump in my throat, you know. And I went back and sat in my car. 
And I was just like, thank you, Lord, for that opportunity. That blessed me more than that blessed him. It did. It really did. And so I went back around, and I was going to go back into Walmart, and he was gone. He was gone. So I don't know where he went that fast, but you never know. So if the Lord's nudging you to help somebody and you're like, well, they'll probably just use it for this, that, or the other, that's not, that's not your business. That is the Lord's money that he has blessed you with. And if he wants you to give it, I didn't even really intend to like, plan on going here, but the Lord must have had this for somebody. So um, like I'm saying, just be that person, um, the one that loves Jesus and just wants to bless. Uh, are we perfect? No, 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 no. I fail every day. But um, I pray that you'll be blessed today. Um, he is coming. He is coming. May not be for a little while, but you know what? Live like he's coming back today, okay? Because uh, we just never know. And uh, just watch the glorious unfolding around you, okay? I love you all. Take care. Have a blessed day. And keep your eyes to the sky and just be that person for someone, okay? Love you all. Bye-bye.